The people all across the world are hunger, are thirsty for freedom. They want their own officials to be accountable and to respond in front of the public. So the alternative that was presented to us with this pandemic, this was the best opportunity for some elites that are not elected by anybody, who are not accountable to anybody, to pretty much hijack day by day, month by month, year by year, more and more of our rights, more and more of our assets, because we see that happening right now in many countries. You saw what happened in Canada, for example, when the truckers protested against Trudeau, he ordered that their bank accounts be blocked. And that happened. And at that point, we did not even have, the, or they did not even have in, in Canada, the digital currency. Imagine what will happen when on your phone you will have the digital wallet, the digital currency, the digital certificate. So we saw what happened. And now just imagine in your worst case scenario what will happen if we allow the WHO to have so much power over our states, over our governments, our elected officials, and even our, over our judiciary. Because over the years, over the centuries, I would say, when the modern state was developed, we had the so-called separation of power in the state. You had what well, we have, the executive power, legislative power, and ju the judicial power. And the reason why the power was split among three different powers in the, goal, in the state was that the individual rights of every person be protected, be safeguarded. So in case the executive power or the legislative power is abusing your rights, you can go in front of the judicial power or the constitutional court to challenge a law or to challenge an administrative decision. Now imagine what would happen if all of this decisional power would be passed over to WHO. Can they stay in court? Can the head of WHO justify his decision, for example, to proclaim a pandemic across the world in front of a judge? Because they can't right now. So the biggest threat that we are facing right now is a threat to our national sovereignty, to the supremacy of our constitutions, and implicitly, unfortunately, to our fundamental rights.